guys what is going on and welcome to our reaction channel where we react to anything and everything guys if you're new i just want to say welcome to st phil's reaction all right hope you guys love all the reactions that i have going on with the channel all right there's something new going up um daily if not daily then weekly all right if you have something for me to watch just leave it on the comments and the videos leave the link leave anything if you're a newcomer welcome thank you guys so much and welcome hope you have fun his his storytelling is is on point all right so happy friday the 13th all right i don't know when these videos are gonna go up but whenever you guys see them happy friday the 13th and um i promise guys no jump scares this time all these videos are just gonna be straight all right <laughs> i promise i promise all right so enough of me talking hope you guys have been well thank you so much for all the little support on the channel guys we're growing more and more every day as a family thank you guys i love y'all let's get right into it Nice chocolate skin. Let's go. Got my big ass water. Victoria and Charlie. Set deep in the Damn. English countryside, a beautiful old manor on a huge estate had been in the Dormer family for centuries. Okay. Lady Dormer, an insomniac, walked the halls day and night. Her only care in the world was her daughter, and her biggest fear for her was that her daughter would be lonely as she had no playmates of her own age. However, it appeared that Victoria had addressed this herself and had created an imaginary friend named Charlie to keep her company. They were inseparable. It seemed to the point where Victoria insisted a second bed be brought into her bedroom so that Charlie could always be by her side. Her mother didn't see any harm in this, for as long as Charlie was around, Victoria was the happiest she could be. There wasn't much concern with Victoria's obsession with Charlie, as it was considered to simply be a phase she was going through. That was, until her tutor expressed concern that it was getting out of hand. She'd been tutoring Victoria for several years and had always admired her brilliance, allowing Charlie to always be by her side. He was, after all, imaginary. The issue hmm. was that on one particular day, she had asked Charlie to stay out of the room so as to not distract Victoria. Once he was gone, Victoria became an appalling student, having no idea what the tutor was talking about and unable to process the most basic of information. Once Charlie was back in the room though, she was absolutely brilliant. Same for her piano playing. When Charlie was what? there, she was incredible. Without him, it was as if she was a mere beginner. Thinking this was completely ridiculous, the mother called Victoria into the room in order to get to the bottom of it. She was given a I'm simple confused. maths problem to perform and was told that Charlie was to stay outside of the room. Alas, Victoria pondered over it for several minutes before giving up. They then asked her to play the piano. She was terrible, barely able to play a scale. Victoria's mother was distraught, her tutor dismayed, and her father absolutely furious just what have you been doing without child for the last few years wow you're an absolute disgrace to your profession and with that she was kicked out of the house never to return but it's not the, the next day fall. the mother had arranged for victoria to leave the estate and attend the country's finest boarding school well regarded for its strict student discipline and high academic standards charlie was forbidden to accompany her when Victoria heard this, she was devastated. No, I'm not going. You can't take me away from Charlie. I'll never leave. Wow. She ran down the hall to where Charlie was beckoning her. And he led her into a closet where he promised to hide her away until her parents changed their mind. Oh my God. Upon entering the room, it was found to be completely empty. 
The house was turned upside down, and an extensive search of all the surrounding grounds was immediately conducted. The search resulted in nothing. Nothing at all. Victoria was gone. Vanished. What? Without a trace. After many years of sleepless nights, the unanswered loss of this child slowly let insanity further creep in. The mother ordered that the beautiful old manor be dismantled stone by stone in the hopes of finding young Victoria. She was never found. Damn. And not surprisingly, as the elderly workers on the demolition crew commented, that the old lady Dorma had finally, completely, lost her mind. She I had never been married. That's crazy. She had never bore a child. She had lived for as long as anyone could remember, completely alone. Oh crap! What? So the whole time there was no Victoria, there was no Charlie, there was no husband. Damn. That's a good story. That's a good story. That 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 that's that's, that's crazy. Damn, so she made an imaginary family and she destroyed her own home trying to find her so-called daughter. Yes. Wow, dude, nightmare tales. Wow. That's actually pretty sad. But dude, that was good. That was good. Holy shit. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you the next one, all right? And happy Friday the 13th. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction video. Um, uh, guys, make sure you check the description and also make sure you check the playlist on the channel because it has a lot of videos that I reacted to. All right, be safe out there and hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.